314. Oh, good evening. Cheating is running rampant in American sports, and there's no sign of an end coming. There's big money in American sports, and with big money comes people looking for, well, a competitive advantage wherever they can find one. Be it teams purposely losing to get better draft picks, perhaps athletes using performance-enhancing drugs, even technology and technology-related devices. Gone are the days when sport was a battle waged between athletic brutes with a little pension for thought. Now behind every muscle-laden Adonis, there's an army of nerds with their laptops and their tablets telling our heroes where to stand so they hardly even need to run anymore. <sighs> the lines between competitive advantage and cheating haven't been blurred. They've been erased. I'm Barry Boucher. Welcome to From the Back of the Net. Hi, I'm Barry Boucher. Joining us today in the wake of the penalties forged by MLB against the Houston Astros, their owner, Jim Crane. Thanks for having me. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Your Astros have joined the ranks of teams that have gone too far in their quest to win a world championship. And we've paid the price. Not much of a price, really. The worst punishment MLB has ever handed out. They fined us five million dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. For me. Not for you, and not for the Astros. Five million you probably brought in just from parking at playoff games. Let alone concessions, merchandise, and all of the increased attendance at regular season games because of those world championships. I haven't been this angry since the Alamo fell. We want answers. We lost draft picks also. Two firsts, two seconds. Eh, baseball draft picks just aren't worth as much as other sports. I haven't been this angry since the Texans blew a 24 point first quarter lead to the Chiefs. We want answers. They suspended our GM and our manager for a year. Yeah, and then you fired them, and now you're the hero for being the owner who takes no nonsense. I haven't been this angry since Jeff Bagwell started wearing them baggy pants. We want answers. I did the right thing. I see your frame there. Hmm. Yes. World's champions, 2017. Now you must be proud. Yes, a lot of good old-fashioned hard work went into that. We had an uphill battle facing us. But we rolled up our sleeves, got right to work. Aces. Also joining us today, former GM Jeff Lunell. Hey, hey, bro. Boom! High spirits from someone who just got fired. I'm a World Series winning GM, bro. I'm on a vacation. You may never work again. I'm a World Series winning GM, bro. I'll land on my feet. They're punishing me, but I didn't do none of that stuff. It was all Cora. Cora worked for you. So you told Cora there would be no cheating. That's right. And Cora was clear on what you wanted. Crystal. Any chance he forgot? No. If you gave an order to not steal signs, and your orders are always followed, why did it seem like your players knew what pitches were coming? Cora ordered the sign stealing because you ordered him to do it. You ordered the sign stealing. Easy, easy. You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. Do you want answers? I think we're entitled to them. You want answers? We want answers. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth. Son. We play in a league where home plate is 60 feet 6 inches from the pitcher's mound, which is raised 10 inches. We have pitchers throwing 100 miles an hour, giving our guys less than half a second to hit the ball. I have a greater responsibility than you could possibly fathom. You weep when they win. You cheer when they lose. You have that luxury. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about parties. You want us to win at all costs. I haven't been this upset since George Herbert Walker Bush passed. 
We want answers. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a fan who cheers for the wins that I provide and questions the manner in which I provide them. Now, I'd prefer if you just said thank you and went on your way. It's not just us, you know. The Yankees cheat, too. Their manager, he cheated as a player back in 2003. To answer these allegations, let's go live to Yankee Stadium. What do you have to say, effing Boone? Oh, it's Aaron Boone. It says effing Boone. Oh, effing's my middle name. I haven't been this angry since Whataburger got traded to Chicago. We want answers. Aaron, it was in the 2003 ALCS. Game seven, extra inning, walk off home run. Did you know what pitch was coming? <laughs> yes, I did. Aha! Oh, guys, it was Tim Wakefield. He only throws knuckleballs. Hey, what up, bro? Man, I am out of here. I'm sick of all this whining. Me, me, me. You won the real series by cheating. Me, me, me. Who cares? We won! Man, get over it. I'm going to a better place up north, man. And where's that? Where the owners, they, they call their lawyers from dirty cots with sticky sheets on them and massage parlors to so they can defend their coaches for cheating again. <clears throat> and their, their tight ends for killing people. Not you, Gronk. You're cool. <sighs> Gronk's not watching. Woof. Well, there you have it. The Astros cheated, and they got punished. Would you trade $5 million, a GM, a manager, and four draft picks for a World Series title? You bet your ass you would. I haven't been this angry since they closed the Astrodome. We want answers. How do you want me to pay that fine? Uh, just take it out of petty cash. Ship it up to Boston! Ship it up to Boston! The end.